Hey, what's up, guys? Ty Bone Skyberg here. Today's Blu ray and DVD review is Spider Man, best known as MCU's Spider Man movies. You got, for example, Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home. Alright, so I finally got these movies right here for you guys. It's, it took me a long time before how many of those uh, Tom Holland's trilogy, for example. And uh, I shouldn't say call it the Home Trilogy or MCU Spider-Man Trilogy or whatever you call it and those names was. This is was after Phase 3 and Phase 4. Um, so I think as it's done uh, my other's... Spider-Man movies, for example. If you see my Sam Raimi and Mark Webb's, uh, I really did the review in it with Blu-rays and DVDs. Before that, I was Tybone 82, and now I'm still here for Remain, keep it Remain, call it Tybone Skyberg. So, if you would have never noticed or not about the, the Sam Raimi and Mark Webb, but I really did a review of it a long time ago. It's on there and when you watched it and when you have a chance. So check out that it's on there because I already did a review of it. All right, so let's get on to that. What these Blu-rays and DVDs comes with the MCU Spider-Man or Marvel Studios or whatever calling it. So I got to finally the complete set with these three movies in my opinion. Well, and then of course... They have crossovers with uh, the Avengers and all the stuff and what's going on. So, And, of course, and with Tom Holland himself is the best Spider-Man, in my opinion. Especially, I really liked Andrew Garfield and Tommy McGuire was the first. Uh, the most of it, I prefer Tommy McGuire. Before Andrew Garfield and now Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. So, um, that's MCU Spider-Man, I should say. So the, I saw the theaters, for example, Homecoming and No Way Home, except Far From Home, because I didn't get a chance to see it. So now I didn't see it with, and I picked this up, uh, uh, a Blu-ray DVD. So now I have uh, all these sets, looks are very amazing. And uh, so without further ado, let's get on to that. So, all right, let's start with uh, Home Homecoming. was after Captain America Civil War. It was that Spider-Man introduced himself before he has an assault film. So you can see, like I said, and uh, you can see right here. So, all right, you can see the Blu-ray DVD, the digital, and and you can see it, uh, the cover looks nice. When it comes with the... The first one it says Homecoming comes with Tony Stark's Iron Man was uh, Robert Downey Jr. And of course it says five stars and it says best Spider-Man ever. Yeah. And of course, like this. So, and then of course you got like this. Let me, let me put it like this on our focus. Sorry about that. And you can see right here, it looks nice. And uh, on the left, and you got a Spider-Man, the logo on it. And of course, on this Columbia Pictures, Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, like this, and of course, then you got Spider-Man when he's uh, listening to the music or with a tablet on the phone or whatever it was. You can read a pause in if you can, because uh, uh, I try to figure it out, because uh, like this. Yeah, you can see the white background is flashy. Sorry about that. And uh, you can see it in the credits right this, and of course, then you got it was on said Sony as well, so... Yeah, like this, and I, I do love it, this this image is like this, and it's because like that. So, if you want to open it like this, very gently, okay. And, of course, then you got a disc, uh, the black one, that's for the Blu-ray, and no need to, to download the app if I've seen it, and no need to... Uh, the digital cults, and, of course, the clean ones, that's for a DVD. I do love uh, this piece, this is because of Spider-Man said. Kind of reminds me of the original version, looks like, and I do love it. The If you've seen in the, the, the Civil War end credits, that's probably uh, the Spider-Man logo, looks like. Well, that's probably Easter egg, is because I do like that one. And uh, Homecoming is it's very amazing movie, in my opinion. This is a beginning one. Now, it was after the um, uh, Homecoming ending, and of course, the, the Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame, because the staff comes from it like this. With that, and of course, you got No Way Home, and of course, you got like this. All right, so you got uh, No Way Home. Uh, the, the different actors, it's the same one. You got my point, and it says Spider-Man No Way Home, and it says No Endgame for Spidey. He's flying higher than ever. Yeah. And of course, the same, the titles, Blu-ray DVD. 
Uh, you got uh, a, a black suit, Spidey, for example. I think it's stealth suit, so you got a different ones like here. And of course, you got my point the Blu ray and DVD, Sony, Columbia, or wherever it was. And of course, you got right here is, and if you want to read a pause it, if you can, is you can see that the image here that's obviously an Iron Man, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark. Uh, was after he finished the, the end game, so he died in the movie. So in the movie I met, so you can see right here, and of course uh, Tom Holland Spider Man when he's look at it. So that's so yeah, that's primarily it. And of course, and he got right here. Uh, yeah, you can see the, the the credits down below, but it's too too little dark, kind of can't even see. Well, so and of course this is a PG thirteen looks like. Uh, so and of course Sony right here. And of course, I forgot to mention that one is Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, MJ Michelle Jones, so I should say. And of course, under the rest of them, the actors looks great. Now, if you want to see it open it, uh, you got to very carefully. All right, the stealth Spidey suit, they will look like it from Blu-ray, looks nice. And of course, you got the Marvel Spider-Man, the video game. So I'm not, I'm not a video gamer anymore, so let me see how... Yeah, this got a digital codes, no need for that. Uh, if I seen it, oh yeah, it's got a look like the bulk on it. So yeah, no need for this one. So now the this suit, the regular one, it comes from the DVDs. So you can see right here, it looks very nice. So both of them has Blu-rays and DVDs. All right, so that's it for Farm From Home. I think it's done uh, phase three because uh, it was Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home because the stats phase three ended. So now let's go let's go to Far From Home. That's phase four, and of course, well, the, oh, to tell you the truth, I don't have um, a slip cover with these two, but I have only one. I have it is because of the, the No Way Home, the slip cover, and um, yeah, I talk about that's why I don't have uh, the other two slip covers like uh, Homecoming and Far From Home. So. All right, you can see right here, No Way Home. So you got Dr. Strange. It looks very nice. Same as Spider-Man, No Way Home. So the beginning was this a multiverse movie. I do love a multiverse movie. So you can see a lot of it. And of course, it says the best Marvel movie of all time. Okay, so that's, so that's going to be it. So you can see right here, I like the this portal inside. And of course, and you got it on the left. And no images, it's just the titles on it. You got on my point like this. Uh, it says No Way Home. And let me try to focus right here. It's on like this. Same blue ring DVD logos right here. And of course, you got this image here like this and of course if you want to read a pause and if you can uh like this yeah and of course you got you can see you can see the uh, because of the, the light sorry about that and of course you can see the credits down below and of course sony yeah still on there and of course yeah and if you wanted to open it very carefully let me take out this uh digital codes no need for this and of course, uh, there's a, a Spider-Man himself. It's like a, a mirror, the dimension, whatever it was that Doctor Strange in this scene. And of course, you got a, the the Iron Spider suit. It was flying around. It looks, it's okay in my opinion. This disc, this is a Blu-ray. And of course, no images. It's just a DVD. It has just the names on it. So, yeah, that's all on this to that. And I think it's it's done. So. And of course, there's a there's a the Spider Verse that the animated movie it's coming us on its way, but I'll, I'll review it later when I have a chance. But the whole the complete sets it's uh the animated movie I already found now. For example, into the Spider Verse, across the Spider Verse, and beyond the Spider Verse. Am I correctly? So we ha I had to wait it until the, when it comes out the after the theaters and of course the Blu-ray DVD comes out later in the future, and of course well I got everything that's MCU's Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland and then the rest of them, the mentors like Iron Man, Nick Fury, and Doctor Strange. All these actors are very great. So you can see right here looks nice. So. So, my final thoughts. I really love it. These movies a lot. I've been waiting for this to 
to reviewing this and it, until and it's done. Especially, it's the same thing. I was trying to reviewing it. Uh, like I said, the same Remy and Mark Webb's versions of Spider Man. It's on and on on my my channel. Go check out if you wanted to. But I really got to viewing it. That was on a long time ago that I mentioned it, that one before. So uh, yeah, that's all it is to that. And go see it if you can after this. And so my final readings for. For these movies right here, I'm going to give it a, these both movies right here a 10 on a 10 because I really love it. This movie was Homecoming, Far From Home. It's, it's technically, it's fine movie to me, but No Way Home is way the best in, in my opinion because No Way Home, I saw in the theaters once. It was a amazing multiverse movie when it comes back in, uh, Andrew Garfield and Tommy McGuire was back in a No Way Home. So I think this multiverse is, looks very amazing movie, No Way Home. So, but the, the rest of the movie, it's fine. Like Homecoming and Far From Home, but No Way Home, it looks better than that in that movie. It makes sense. So I hope Tom Holland will return in, in the Marvel's Faces movies. Maybe it could be, I don't know what happens in the future. We'll see what happens or not. I hope let this happen for any time remain in the future. We'll see. So I'm going to give it a, these both movies right here a 10 on a 10. All right, stay tuned for more reviews coming up and we'll see. Don't forget click like, comments below, don't forget subscribe and check it at the icon bell, no notifications in case you missed it or not. This is Tybone Skyberg and I'll see you around guys and happy Blu-ray and DVD hunt and happy physical media hunt and take care.